four for that one. You've got the Empowerment Zone Employment Credit. That's on Form 8844. You may qualify for this credit if you have employees and are engaged in a business in an Empowerment Zone for which the credit is available. That's going to be particular type of areas that, that the government has labeled out as one in particular incentives because for whatever reason, low income areas or something like that. So, so then you might have particular credits for hiring people or employees in the particular area. So for more information there, you can see form 8844. You got the energy efficient home credit form 8908. This credit is available for eligible contractors of certain homes sold for use as a residence. So for more information there, you can see form 8908. You've got the investment credit form 3468. The investment credit is the total of uh, the several credits. So for more information on investment credits, there's you, it's got several credits involved. So if you wanna dive into it in more detail, check out form 3468 on the IRS website. Low sulfur diesel fuel production credit. That's form 8898 for more information. If you're dealing with uh, low sulfur diesel fuel, you could check out form 8896, 8896 that is. Low income housing credit form 8586. This credit generally applies to each qualified low income building placed in service after 19. 86. So if you're in the, that industry, you can check that out for more information. You can see form 8586. You got the new markets credit. That's on form 8874. This credit is for qualified equity investments made in qualified uh, community development entities. And so you can check out 8874. You've got the orphan drug credit form 8820 this credit applies to qualified expenses incurred in testing certain drugs for rare diseases and conditions so that would be a fairly specific uh credit i would think qualified plug-in electric drive motor vehicle credit so another one of these environmental type of credits form 8936 this credit is for certain new qualified plug-in electric vehicles placed in service during the tax year so for more information, 8936 on that one. You got the Qualified Railroad Track Maintenance Credit. So that one seems awfully specific for maintenance of the old railroad track. Form 8900, this credit applies to Qualified Railroad Track Maintenance Expenditures paid or incurred during the tax year. And then we've got the Renewable Electricity Production Credit, Form 8835. This credit is for renewable energy sources produced in the United States or U.S. possessions from qualified energy resources at qualified facilities. So you can check that one out at Form 8835. You got the credit for small employer pension plan startup costs and auto enrollment, Form 8881. You may qualify for this credit if you are a small employer who includes and maintains an automatic contribution arrangement in an employer-sponsored retirement plan. So for more information, 8881. You got the work opportunity credit. That's on the form 5884. This credit provides businesses with an incentive to hire individuals from targeted groups that have a particularly high unemployment rate or other special em employment needs. So for more information, 8554. How to claim the credit. Store credit, store credit, store credit. To claim a general business credit, you will first have to get the forms you need to claim your current year business credit. So you can research that more on the IRS website, irs.gov. In addition to the credit form, you also need to file form 3800.